everybody, I wanted to show you a cool little Sunny Boy thing that if you do it opposite, um, it can sound more uh, European sounding. So we're dealing with the, I've got a D harmonica, which I kind of like for the higher sound for Sunny Boy type stuff. But it's a, uh, I'll play the theme. It's three draw, four blow draw, five blow, five draw. Then it goes back to the five blow into the three draw. Then into the four draw. Back to the five blow, and then the four draw. <laughs> or it ends in the five draw, I guess. Or it could go either one. Five draw, four draw, it doesn't matter. It's just contrast. And if you add your hands to it more. And your tongue to it. And all kinds of other stuff. play around with it and have a good old fashioned time with it. <laughs> just doing that with your, just your... Now, contrast that with, if I'm, done, I'm drawing those notes of fourth and fifth, well, that's where the effect of the Sonny Boy type sound is, I think. the uh, Obviously, I'm blowing them, too, but um, the main thing I think that sticks in your ear is... Uh, Okay, you know, that kind of blues down. But what if I go opposite? So that's three, three draw. Four blow, four draw, five blow, five draw.
to me I just left you alone now sunny boy that would be more the uh, kind of folky type sound so let's say sunny boy had something going on with that I saw you through the window of another man Through another man's house And I went on I went on to get my name I didn't want to make no noise it won't blow none with my cat. I wanna get inside. Take business, take care of business, quiet like. Now that contrasts Sunny Boy's idea of what he would do with a lonely European man that's caught his girlfriend cheating and through the window of another man's house. I went home and there was nothing more I could do. I called information at the ground station. Found out when the next bus was leaving for out of this town. So the guys, uh, he's gonna leave and these pretty notes behind him and he's gonna leave the situation where Sonny Boy is gonna confront it with this. Well, I asking you, motherfucker, what you doing with my wife? How would you like to be sliced? Now, my guy, I never met Sonny Boy. He died way before I got into this stuff. But I've heard stories, and I sure work with R.L. Burnside, and I bet you anything, and some other people different than him, but similar. And I don't know which is the best way to approach things. Personally, I don't... I'm not going to go confront somebody over or anybody, or a woman like that with a gun or a knife. I just say, you know, the hell with you, man. If that's the way you are with me, then I'm out of this place. So I'm more like the European, but I'm also going to have a few words to say about it. I'm not just going to slide gracefully out of town. I might just say, <laughs> you know, what I'll say. You know, I'm going to leave a reason behind. But I'm certain to make sure that I take my my affairs with me that I need to. And, um... The main thing is I'm not going to go put in, get put in jail for shooting somebody or killing somebody or whatever. I don't, you know, because some other person making a stupid mistake. I'm not going to, I'm not going to mess up my life, you know. And this is truly what happens sometimes. I mean, I was touring with R.L. and um, the drummer, Calvin Jackson, was Cedric, Cedric Burnside's father. We hear, oh, uh, Calvin's brother's gone and um, shot his ex-wife and his uh, boyfriend, tried to kill himself. And... And I didn't do a good job of it, just just paralyzed and deformed his face. You know, I met this guy in Mississippi, George Jackson. And, um, man, you know, it happens. People do these stupid things. They think, I'm going to get over. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to put up with this bullshit. And then they go shoot somebody or whatever just because it's like the righteous man thing to do. You're not going to let your woman screw me up. Where you think, well, what do you want to do with that person in the first place? In second place, if she's going to do you that way, why do you want to be with her? Get out, man. But don't shoot yourself in the foot on the way out. If you're going to make some noise with a gun, well, I just wouldn't do it. They always say, if you pull a gun, 
you better be prepared to use it. And I just wasn't... I'm looking at these baby goats over here. Get out of there! Get out of that bag! I wasn't prepared to, to go that far uh, as a young addict and as a... a and to, I had them pull on me a couple times and I just got out of the situation. But I just did not want... It wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth shooting somebody over dope or over love or anything else, you know. Get out of there! So maybe I should just end this thing now. But this guy, yeah, he, on top of getting his face paralyzed, messed up for good, you know, he goes to prison, still loses his wife. <laughs> so, but that's the way this European in the song would handle. He just had to handle it kind of cool. He's probably doing the right thing, actually. And it's not nearly as mad-like and, and tough-like as Sonny Boy would, but he's doing probably the right thing. You know, he's saying, the hell with you. Bitch, sorry to use that word, but the hell with you. Or if it's a guy, you know, you son of a motherfucking bastard or whatever they want to, well, she wants to call him, to just get away from the person. No need to do what Sonny was going to do, which is he's going to get himself in trouble or he's going to have to run and run and run. But what if the woman goes, oh, Sonny boy, this isn't for real. We're going to put on a play, and, and we're just rehearsing. I was going to invite you to the rehearsal, but you were, you were down at the Drift Inn, and you were with your fellows, and I didn't want to bother you. That's what this is, a rehearsal? Well, okay. And see, then Sonny Boy can slide out of that, and he doesn't shoot anybody or skin anybody or anything else. He's just going to get away and calmly walk away with his wife, and everything's okay, even though there's no such thing as a play. Whereas the European is... He doesn't know it's a rehearsal, so he's already on the bus. He's already on the bus to Cincinnati, and he blew it. I don't know which is the right way to handle the situation. You can tell me, maybe maybe you all might know. Anyway, here's the look again. Now that's that. That's the European way, the Sunny Boy way. Anyway, it's three, four, three, four, blow, five, four, draw, five, draw, five, blow, whatever way you want to do it. But this basic part again is. Three, draw, three, four, draw, four, blow, five, blow, five, draw, five, blow. Back to the three draw, to the uh, four draw, um, to the five blow, and back to the three draw or the four draw. Okay, you all have a, I'm going to get these goats, these babies out of this, and they're a bag I wanted to get into. Okay, you all have a good morning, evening, day, afternoon, wherever you're at. Oh, look who's here though. Holy, 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 holy. I couldn't tell now that he's he's down here looking for a pistachio nut. Come here. Holy. There's Herbie. See, there's Herbie there. There's our Herbie that makes all that crazy percussive sounds and noise. He's not, he's kind of camera shy right now, but I don't know. Herbie, look, say hi. Hey, Herbie. Hey. He needs to get his beak. His beak is way too long and I need to dremel it down. I mean, it's not hurting him too much. But it should be about an inch lower. Oh, come on. Hurry. Hurry. Just get the, just the, look. Just get in here for a second. Okay, say hi to everybody. Say hello. Okay. He's not very happy about this. I don't. There he's at. Calling down. Okay. Y'all take care. Hurry. Hurry. Sometimes when they get mad, they, they do like a thing like, well, I'm not going to make them do it, but they'll, they'll tap, they'll like tap their beak on the thing like, 
when they want something, they're mad. They go just like, don't you? All right, take it easy, y'all.